sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brothers and sisters, today's message is about one of the most deceptive and wicked spirits that continues to attack God's people, the spirit of Jezebel. This spirit goes beyond the story of an ancient queen and remains active in the spiritual realm today, seeking to destroy godly men and women, especially those who are committed to serving the Lord. In Revelation, Jesus himself warns us about the influence of Jezebel, a spirit that seduces, manipulates, and leads people into sin and destruction. Jezebel is a symbol of rebellion, control, and a desire to destroy the servants of God. She operates with cunning deception, often masquerading as righteousness, but her goal is always the same, to turn people away from the truth of God and lead them into bondage. Today, we will explore the reality of the Jezebel spirit, its characteristics, and how we can guard ourselves against its influence. Let us begin by seeking the Lord's wisdom in prayer. Father, we ask for your protection and guidance as we study your word today. Open our hearts to the truth and give us discernment to recognize the Jezebel spirit and resist its influence in our lives. Strengthen us by your Holy Spirit and may we walk in your light and truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Jezebel's story in the Old Testament begins when she becomes queen of Israel by marrying King Ahab. As a foreign princess, she brought the worship of Baal into Israel, leading the people away from the one true God. Jezebel's actions were not just wicked, they were calculated to destroy the influence of God's prophets and promote idol worship throughout the land. She was relentless in her pursuit of power and used her position to manipulate and control those around her. In 1 Kings, we learn how Jezebel killed the prophets of the Lord silencing those who spoke God's truth. Her spirit was one of rebellion, a force that sought to remove anything that stood for righteousness. But Jezebel's story didn't end with her death. In Revelation, we are warned that the spirit of Jezebel continued to operate in the early church, seducing believers into sexual immorality and idolatry. This spirit seeks to infiltrate churches, families, and the lives of believers today leading them away from God. The spirit of Jezebel is not confined to the past. It's a spiritual reality that targets the church and godly men in particular. It seeks to destroy what God's building by using deception, manipulation, and rebellion. Jezebel doesn't just oppose godly leadership, she seeks to dominate and control it, twisting the truth and leading many astray. The Jezebel spirit is particularly dangerous for men of God because it specifically targets them to undermine their authority and lead them into sin. This spirit is relentless in its pursuit and godly men must be aware of how it operates. Jezebel attacks the mind, planting seeds of doubt, insecurity, and lust. These attacks often come subtly, creeping into a man's thoughts and emotions, weakening his spiritual strength and resolve. Jezebel uses seduction to break down marriages and relationships preying on a man's vulnerabilities. She uses sexual temptation to lure men into sin, leading them away from their wives and families. Once a man falls into this trap, shame and guilt often keep him from repenting and turning back to God. This is how the spirit works, through destruction and division. This spirit also challenges spiritual leadership. Jezebel resists godly authority and seeks to undermine those who are in leadership roles, whether in the church, the family, or the community. If men are passive or unsure of their roles as spiritual leaders, Jezebel takes advantage, using manipulation and rebellion to take control. She thrives in an environment where men are not walking in their God-given authority. Once Jezebel gains a foothold, she destroys spiritual focus. Instead of leading with vision and clarity, Men become distracted by worldly desires, 
personal struggles and temptations. This distraction leads them away from their calling and weakens their influence, leaving them vulnerable to further attacks. While the Jezebel spirit is powerful, it is not unbeatable. Godly men can overcome it through the power of the Holy Spirit. The first step is to fully submit to God's authority. Scripture tells us to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. We cannot overcome the spirit in our own strength. We must surrender our lives, our desires, and our struggles to God and walk in obedience to his word. Only then can we stand against the enemy's schemes. Prayer is also a powerful weapon against the Jezebel spirit. We must be vigilant in prayer, continually seeking God's guidance and protection. Prayer strengthens our armor and keeps us connected to the heart of God. When we are in constant communication with the Father, the Jezebel spirit has less power over us. We must also guard our hearts and minds. The Bible instructs us to guard our hearts diligently because the heart is where the issues of life flow. This means we must be mindful of what we allow into our thoughts and emotions. We cannot afford to entertain the lies, pride, or lust that Jezebel uses to lead us astray. Instead, we must fill our minds with God's word and stand firm on his promises. Righteousness is another essential aspect of overcoming Jezebel. The Spirit seeks to pull us into immorality, but we are called to stand firm in purity and integrity. By putting on the breastplate of righteousness, we protect ourselves from Jezebel's attacks. Righteousness guards our hearts and helps us walk in alignment with God's will. Finally, we must repent and renounce any ties to Jezebel. If we have fallen under the influence of the spirit, whether through sexual sin, pride, or rebellion, we must confess our sins and turn back to God. Jesus gave Jezebel time to repent, but she refused. We must not make the same mistake. True repentance brings freedom, healing, and restoration. Pride is one of the key entry points for the Jezebel spirit to infiltrate the hearts and minds of both men and women. This spirit thrives on pride because it creates an illusion of self-sufficiency and blinds individuals to their need for God's guidance and correction. When pride takes root in the heart, it not only leads to spiritual blindness, but also makes a person more susceptible to manipulation, control, and deception, the very characteristics of the Jezebel spirit. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 warns us, Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Pride paves the way for a downfall, just as it did for Lucifer, who was cast out of heaven for his prideful rebellion against God. In the same way, the Jezebel spirit uses pride to lead men and women away from the truth of God, convincing them that they are above correction, untouchable, or somehow spiritually superior. This is a dangerous mindset because it distances a person from humility, repentance, and reliance on God's grace. In the story of Queen Jezebel, we see pride manifest in her refusal to submit to God's authority. Instead of humbling herself before the Lord, she sought to assert her own power, control, and influence. Her pride made her hostile to the prophets of God and led her to manipulate those around her, including her husband, King Ahab, to achieve her wicked goals. The same spirit operates today, seeking to use pride to destroy godly men by causing them to reject wise counsel, dismiss warnings, and place themselves above accountability. The Jezebel spirit often targets those in positions of leadership or influence because pride can so easily take hold when success, power, or authority are involved. Men of God who achieve great things in their ministries or careers can sometimes fall into the trap of pride, believing they are truly invincible or beyond reproach. It is in these moments that the Jezebel spirit sees an opportunity to strike, using pride as the doorway to introduce deception, manipulation, and spiritual compromise. Consider how the devil tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden. He appealed to her pride, suggesting that she could be like God by eating the forbidden fruit. 
For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis 3, 5. The devil's temptation was rooted in pride, the desire to elevate oneself to a position that only God should hold. This same tactic is used by the Jezebel spirit today, appealing to pride to lead people away from obedience to God. The Jezebel spirit also preys on men by inflating their egos, making them feel superior to others or untouchable. Once pride takes root, it becomes challenging for man to see his own vulnerability. He may resist correction from those who care about him or reject warnings from fellow believers. This isolation and lack of accountability create fertile ground for Jezebel's manipulation and deception. As men of God, we must be vigilant in guarding our hearts against pride. Humility is our greatest defense against the Jezebel spirit. Jesus himself modeled humility when he said in Matthew 11:29, "Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls." Humility opens the door to God's grace, while pride shuts it out. One of the clearest signs that a man has fallen prey to the Jezebel spirit is when he becomes resistant to correction or accountability. He may feel that he is above reproach, dismissing the concerns of others as irrelevant or unnecessary. This is a dangerous place to be because it allows the Jezebel, Jezebel spirit to tighten its grip, leading to further deception and ultimately destruction. In contrast, a humble heart is open to correction and seeks God's wisdom. James 4, 6 tells us, But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. If we want to resist the Jezebel spirit and remain in God's favor, we must walk in humility, constantly submitting ourselves to God's will and recognizing our dependence on his grace. Pride also blinds us to the truth. When pride takes hold, we begin to rely on our own understanding rather than seeking God's wisdom. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 warns us, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. The Jezebel spirit wants us to lean on our own understanding because it knows that human wisdom is flawed and can easily be manipulated. To combat this, we must continually seek God's guidance through prayer, studying His Word, and remaining open to correction from godly mentors and fellow believers. The moment we begin to trust in our own wisdom and elevate ourselves above God's instruction, we open the door for Jezebel to deceive us. The Jezebel spirit is one of the most dangerous forces we face in our spiritual walk. It is cunning, manipulative, and relentless in its pursuit to destroy godly men and women. But we are not without hope. Through Christ, we have the power to overcome the spirit and stand firm in our faith. We must be vigilant, sober-minded, and prepared for the attacks that will come. The Bible warns us to be vigilant because the devil is like a roaring lion seeking to devour us. But when we resist him and stand firm in the faith, we can overcome. Let us not tolerate the influence of Jezebel in our lives, our families, or our churches. Instead, let us stand in the truth, clothed in the righteousness of Christ, and filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for the truth of your word. Strengthen us to stand against the spirit of Jezebel and all the deceptions of the enemy. Help us to walk in righteousness, truth, and humility before you. Guide us and protect us as we continue our journey of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being a part of today's message. If this sermon has touched your heart or opened your eyes to the dangers we face, we encourage you to share it with others. Remember, the battle we face is real, but through Christ we are more than conquerors. We are excited to announce that Bible Adventures for Children is coming soon. This new series is designed to help children learn about the teachings of the Bible in a fun and engaging way. 
Some of the artistic artwork seen in this video will also be featured in the cartoon series. Please stay tuned for the release to help children, because as you know, the dark forces are targeting our children, and they are the future of our world and of utmost importance to Jesus Christ. We now extend an invitation to you, not merely to support our ministry, but to become an integral part of our divine mission and purpose. Visit our website at awakeningrighteousness.com, where you will discover a free blog Christian canvas art, Christian clothing, and a vast range of Christian books that delve even deeper into the profound teachings of the Bible. Each book serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to awaken the righteous version of yourself. By standing with us, your support breathes life into our ministry, enabling us to truly understand the teachings of the Bible and ignite faith in many hearts. You have the power to contribute to the saving of souls and to make a difference on earth. Stay blessed, awaken the righteous version of yourself, and join us in this holy mission of saving souls. God be with you, amen.